morning. I've had a few people email me and leave YouTube messages asking me to do an overview video on my Blitz belt bag. And I just had one come up in my order list. So let's do an overview video. So this bag I designed after a trip to New Jersey uh, for bluefish and it was a bluefish blitz and I had my normal three tube shoulder bag with me and it was just overkill. I didn't need to carry that big of a bag. I just needed something small that I could carry a handful of bucktails in and a handful of small lures uh, for bluefish that were just going to get munched up anyway. So. I decided to come up with a design uh, for a bag that would fit that uh, purpose, and that's the Blitz bag. So, as with all of my videos that I do, these are bags that were requested by customers, so they have options on them, and this bag is no different. Uh, this customer wanted a gray uh, stitching, and they wanted a gray edge trim. Otherwise, everything about this bag is standard. So, get to some specifics on the bag. Overall dimensions, about seven and a half inches wide, about six inches tall, and about three inches uh, front to back. It's a belt bag, so it has belt loops. This bag is not tall enough to support my buddy lock system, so there's no buddy locks on the sides of the bag. Bottom of the bag has standard with five stainless steel grommets, there's a flat buckle, and then let's go inside the bag here. I'll show you a couple features here. It comes with three tubes on the inside that are two inches in diameter by around 5.5 inches in height. It's a little bit of headroom uh, above the top of the, the tube and the edge of the bag there so you can hang lures by the front set of treble hooks and it doesn't tent up the uh, top of the bag. There are six bucktail loops in there and there's spaces to hang uh, tins behind those bucktail loops. As you've seen with some of my other videos, my bucktail loops are big enough to accommodate an SP minnow without the tail hook and that'll just slide right inside the uh, the bucktail loop there. And I'll show you some other lures that this will fit. Here's a uh, small Super Strike uh, little neck popper. So fits right in there, no problem. You can see that it fits perfect. And then let's go ahead and here's the larger uh, Super Strike popper. Show you how that fits in there. Again, no problem on the fit there. And then the slightly larger uh, Super Strike Darter. Again, that'll fit in there. Let me close the lid on this so you can see how that how they all fit in there. Now let's go back into the inside of the bag here, and I'll show you another feature that I do on this bag. Let's get these lures out of here. And let's get the tube set out of here. One feature that I do on the inside of my bags is that I add a special reinforcement material in there. What that does is it makes so the bag can't crush down. It's a pet peeve of mine that on a lot of these belt bags, they're just, I just, they're lacking. And these sides, they squeeze down and then they, they pouch out on the sides and you just don't get a good, a good closure on the bag in my opinion. So I decided to put these uh, stiffeners on the inside. They're actually sewn in place. You can see how they're box stitched in there. And it just gives a whole bunch more rigidity to the bag. Makes them a lot more difficult to turn inside out, but, uh, makes for I think a much stronger bag and then I think I talked about it but there's a surface mount 
buckle on there uh, so that you can keep that pouch flap closed even after uh, many years down the road when the Velcro is starting to give up the ghost, the buckle is still going to help hold that flap closed for you. I can typically turn around Blitz belt bags in around seven to ten days. So unlike my other bags, there's just not a that long of a, uh, a waiting period for these bags. Please let me know if there's other videos you'd like to see me do. Uh, I'm trying to cover all the bags that I build, but there's accessories that I build, stuff like that. If there's something in particular you'd like to see uh, that I can uh, shoot a video on, please let me know. And I will put a link to my bag quote and order form uh, down in the video description. Uh, so if you look at the video description here on YouTube, you can see that it's gonna have uh, the link to my bag quote and order form. Just fill out that form, send it in, and when I get a breather from the sewing machine, I will email you back with a detailed breakdown of the quote. So thanks again for everything, and I look forward to building a bag for you.